and guess what guys we have made it we have made it to the end this is the final video for dead island maybe not the final video but it is the final video for the campaign series i'm excited i'm glad you guys have stuck with me this far if you're just joining us go back and watch my other parts please um so this is kind of like the final boss battle uh what it is is i mean you've got uh the guy that stole your antidote he's going to be up on top on the helicopter and trying to shoot you and get away uh you what you have to do is you have to defeat a couple rounds of uh people first uh a i.e the uh the guy is shooting at you and then there'll be some zombies that come out and then it'll open up the uh the gate access to get up to where the helicopter is and then you get to go to the ending which is fun uh there's ammo scattered all over the place here um there's these bombs it's not anything that like you can time them and arm them, and I think it's like for killing anything that's uh, getting close to you. I don't think it's a necessary thing to get to the end. Um, but that was the pistol stop. Um, there is a explosives in the left-hand corner from where we are right now. And uh, and the very back, like pretty much on the opposite end of this like courtyard area, there is a like rifle shop area and then right behind us is an explosives area uh if like this when i mean areas it's how you can refill any of the things that you have so far so if you want more grenades or if you want more pistol ammo or if you want more rifle ammo that's where you can go to get those um they come in handy if you need to uh reload stuff and i mean there's there's not much else to say other than you need to run around and make sure that uh, you don't get killed by any of the zombies. What are you trying to do, Colonel? I don't have to explain myself to you. Look, your wife is gone. Look at her. She ain't coming back. But you can still save Take us. one more step and you're dead. I have the cure, all right? The doctors in Sydney will make more. We'll send helicopters. We'll save everyone. With a nuclear bomb? Kevin told us the plan. You're gonna kill everyone. Maybe I should start with you. I have no choice here, right? This virus threatens the entire bloody world. Benoit is lost either way. It's easy to kill millions of faceless nobodies, isn't it? Stay back. They hardly seem human. Stop. But killing someone you love? It's not so easy, is it? Son of a bitch! Now, I wish I could tell you that this end boss guy is going to be difficult, but guess what? I'm a bigger boss than him, so we're going to pull out all the stops here and shoot him a couple times, and then I kind of realize, oh, this isn't working too well. He's faster than me. He's dealing more damage than me. This isn't going to work, so I'm just going to go uh, rage mode and own his ass. Uh, so, you guys, look forward to after the ending cinematic uh, to hear my thoughts on the game and just kind of a, a little mini review as a whole. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, remember, stay tuned for after the end cinematic. He was right about one thing. Benoit is lost. If not him, then someone else will soon send a nuke with our name on it. The quicker we leave, the better. Come on! 
According to officials, Benoit is still under quarantine. The sought-after vacation destination, popular with celebrities and wealthy tourists alike, was ironically originally a penal colony and still houses one of the strictest maximum security prisons in the world. It is home to many dangerous criminals and terrorists, including Karen, the infamous hacker for hire who has worked for everyone from Al-Qaeda to the Yakuza. Meanwhile, news of the lethal virus on the island has caused a worldwide panic. Some have claimed that the virus is only the first wave of a massive international terrorist attack and that the intentions are global. Bernard Green, spokesman for the Australian Defence Force, denies the claims. There is no basis for these ridiculous rumours. The entire island is under military quarantine and the maximum security prison is completely secure. The hacker known as Karen and every other terrorist in prison there isn't going anywhere. Humanitarian aid is on its way and you can be sure that the virus or whatever it is will not leave the island. The whole world anxiously watches what is happening in Benoit. For the moment, all flights in and out have been cancelled. Oh, shit, man, I can't believe we made it. At this point, I'll be goddamn glad to have all my old problems back. As long as the world is the way it used to be. It's not, and never will be. Trust me. Alright, that's it. We are done with the game. Thank you guys so much for watching this and supporting me all the way through. Um, I've never seen so much support for one game before. Uh, you guys have been messaging me on Facebook, on YouTube, uh, Twitter, on all of these things and telling me, do more Dead Island, get it done. Uh, we really enjoy it and I, I can't thank you guys enough for all the support that you have given me. Um, I can't wait to give back to you guys. Hopefully this is this is doing a little bit giving back by finishing the game for you and really showing you that I do value you guys' support and I do listen to you guys. It's not just I'm not brushing it off and trying to, you know, start as many games as possible. I want to finish all the games I can for you guys because I know you guys like to see these games. And some, some of you, this is the only way you can see them. So I want to bring it to you as, you know as high as quality as possible and i hope you guys have enjoyed this walkthrough now my thoughts on the game as a whole um i had a lot of fun with it uh i think if i were to play the entire game multiplayer and i probably will be doing that um maybe not as a walkthrough but just playing it for fun uh, multiplayer i think that's really where this game shines especially towards the end when you saw a lot of the cinematics and that kind of stuff um and you saw the group together not just uh your character but you got to see everyone together uh, that's really when i you know kind of felt like oh i wish i was doing this with more people um that's kind of where i think it would, it would be fun it's a it's a fun zombie game if you're looking for a zombie game uh with rpg elements in it um the combat system was a little bit clunky uh that's that's the uh, just about the only thing i have to complain about uh, the game was just that combat system didn't feel right even the whole time. I mean, once you get used to it, uh, you can it's fine, you can perform fine, it's not going to cause too many problems. But as compared to a lot of other zombie games, it just it felt a little clunky. So um, that's, that's what I have to say about the combat system. The story, I enjoyed the story. Um, I think a lot of people were looking forward to this game and looking forward to uh, the story that it could bring from that trailer. Um, everyone knows what trailer I'm talking about. If you don't, go search Dead Island trailer. Um, and it's it's one of the best trailers I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, and it really set the ground for this game to hold up to. And I don't know if everyone agrees with the fact that, um, at least story-wise, if it did hold up to that. Um, I did enjoy um, some of the plot elements. Uh, you know, Jin shooting her father and then in the end having to die. Uh, I thought that was very interesting. I, I enjoyed it. I thought this game also really set it up for a sequel. Um, if I've ever seen an ending set something up for, you know, the next part, 
uh, I've definitely seen, you know, that's, that's, this is speaking of it. This is where you would see it. Uh, Dead Island set up, set itself up for a sequel. And actually, uh, Teclan, I believe, has trademarked the name Dead World. So, uh, is that, is that rumor and, and thoughts of, to we are seeing a sequel? I mean, I, I'm pretty, the game did really well itself, so I think we might be seeing a sequel there. And I wouldn't mind so much, uh, I, like I said, I enjoyed the game. I would love to play this with some of you guys, so if you guys ever catch me on Xbox Live, um, and I'm not, uh, doing anything else, or you see me in Dead Island from now on, it's pretty much going to be for fun, um, so... If you guys can, uh, if you guys want to message me and play some Dead Island, that would be great. Uh, I'm so close to a thousand likes on Facebook, so if you guys want to head over to Facebook and uh, just click that like button, I would appreciate it a lot. Uh, it's really where I can get the most feedback from you guys, and if you want to really contact me, that's the best place to do it. Uh, so thank you guys again. Um, I appreciate all the love and support you have given me, and with that, I will catch you guys on the flip side.